five pounds. That's why I recommend weekly weigh-ins on the same scale in the same clothes. So my weigh-in is plus five inch Gymshark shorts, t-shirt, Converse, socks, underwear. <laughs> So my, I guess my necklace and my ring, but like those are inconsequential when it comes to pounds. You know what I mean? So I always weigh in in the same clothes. I take my keys and my phone and I put my, I put my drink down. So um, you need to be in the same environment every time. And I do recommend the same time of week because your glycogen levels and your bowel movements will probably be about the same. Like, so I actually weigh in every time I go to the gym. So Monday through Thursday around the early afternoon, that's when I weigh myself. But, like, you're on a different scale. You're wearing different clothes. You're in a different environment. You're at a different time of the week. So I would recommend for your mental health, once a week, replicated conditions. That's how you should weigh yourself. And then your calories and stuff go day by day, bro. You're trying to lose weight. You're on a cut. You need to be in caloric deficit, which is under 2,500 calories. You're not lifting right now, so protein isn't as important. Nutrition is important regardless if you're lifting or not, but I'm just saying for, like, you are already getting enough nutrients because you're overweight, and you want to lose weight. So simply go below 2,500 calories a day. That is your caloric deficit. So if you're eating 2,499 calories every single day for a week, you will lose weight. Make that two weeks. You'll lose weight. Make that in three weeks, you'll lose weight. Does that make sense? It's just such a long and brick by brick battle that it'll be difficult. But like, hey, I've gone, I've, I've, I've lost fifty pounds. I've gained sixty pounds, and now I'm down um, fifty pounds from the sixty. You know what I mean? I've gone from two thirty eight to one eighty eight, from one eighty eight to two forty eight, and then from two forty eight, I'm one ninety nine yesterday, and I'll probably be one ninety nine again today. Because I'm two days of deficit in a row. I might just be 198. But you know what I mean? Like, it's really slow. But if you're a gamer, you're already familiar with uh, how this works. If you've ever played an MMO. Guys, your fucking, your fucking IRL is simply a video game, bro. You're 115 pounds. Adult assigned male at birth Revium is 115 pounds. How tall are you? Because you, if you're not 5'2", I swear to God, I might have to punch you. Hey, what's up, Sean? Shlong. Sadly, no matter how well you eat, no matter how much you work out, your penis is pretty much set in stone, dude. But there's always someone out there to love you, regardless of the size of your shlong. Lois, and I was at the doctor's, was 250 wearing Converse Slacks t-shirt. Slacks are pretty heavy. Those are like jeans or khakis. Those are pretty heavy. So, again, my gym shorts are really light. I'm basically naked. Like, weigh yourself naked. Like, you're in a bathroom, right? So just fucking strip down naked and weigh yourself. If you're wearing inconsistent types of clothing, it might be easier. Adult assigned male at birth. 5, 5, 115. Oh, do we love a short king, by the way? We love a short king. But you're a little underweight, buddy. I can see all your ribs and your hip dips. You simply need to eat more. Rev, when I catch you. When I catch you, Rev. Rev, I'm going to feed you. Rev, you see this timer, bro? Rev, do you have a smartphone? You're not underweight. You are underweight. You're so underweight. You cannot give blood unless you weigh 120. You are underweight. You are a danger to yourself. If I asked you to pick up your computer right now, you would hurt your back. I'm telling you, I know you underweight people. You see my, I'm strangling you right now. This is me holding you, I'm strangling you. You see my wife, when we started dating, was underweight, yeah? She couldn't, she wasn't over 100 pounds, bro. And now look at her, she's a big booty Latina that I know and love. I had to feed her, you see. I had to fucking, when I, I had to feed her. It took a long time. Rev is 5'5". Five, five. Short king status. I'm 5'10", so we're not that different. I'm, like, not super tall. But I'm, like, not... I'm not Short King. I'm I'm in the, the void that is not Short King and not Tall Guy. This is the fucking worst. Because, <laughs> dude, Short Kings... Hey, man, I'm jealous of Short Kings. Guys, if you're under 5'8", and you start lifting weights, let me tell you, your pumps are glorious. Dude, Short Kings have the nicest pumps, bro. 
And the taller you are, the less glorious your pump is, but you're tall, so it's fine. You're average. Slightly above average. Five foot eight, I think, is average in uh, the United States of America. Rumber room ratty. Five five ideal weight for male. You're reading body mass index, and we simply don't actually. No, um, you're you're 100 right, Merlin. 120 to 150. That's absolutely correct. And I want to see you at 150. Be so fucking for real right now. I don't want to see any of them ribs. I want to see muscle. Trickster main your mom. Mm. I want to see some of that, bro. I'm a little... I'm skinny sis, guys. You heard it here. I'm skinny sis. I don't like skinny people. I don't like them. I see skinny people. I say, eat you fucking skinny bitch. I hate you. I want to see muscle. And you don't need to lift weights to get muscle. You can fucking walk. You can do pull-ups. You can do push-ups. You can do sit-ups. I want to see you healthy. I want to see you be able to pick up your desktop to clean it and not hurt your back. Which I keep using as an analogy because Lucy literally did that the other day. So Lucy is my, my scapegoat. I have low body fat, got abs at this point. Yeah, dude, you also have fucking 18 ribs. You don't have abs because you're strong. You have abs because you're skinny. They're different. Look at Eddie Hall, 400 pounds, bro. He has abs because he's strong. You have abs because you're skinny. They are not the same. Yeah, and if you're poor, there's still plenty of options to eat healthy consistently. Seafood buffet. Dude, you pay like 20 bucks, and Rubber Room Ratty is so right. You can eat like 2,000 calories in one sitting. Like, it's crazy, which I wouldn't recommend. Stretching your stomach makes, you know caloric deficit a lot more difficult which is like what i struggled with and probably what cole is struggling with right now you're simply not full you'll eat 2500 calories in a day and you won't be full because your stomach is so much bigger your stomach is bigger and you need to eat more to so you need to have smaller portions more frequently it's good for your metabolism you feel full you need to fix your eating well you're already um you cut nicotine and you're exercising regularly via swimming. So, like, you're literally fine. <laughs> and you're not overweight. So, like, maybe you're maybe you're skinny. But, like, you know, skinny's not good. Because people get into this toxic mentality like Rev. Where they're like, I'm 115 and I have abs, so I'm fine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You are not fine. Go to the fucking blood bank right now and give blood. Oh, you can't. Um, excuse me, sir. You are less than 120 pounds, which is um, underweight for an assigned male at birth, five foot five. So you actually can't give blood because we could probably hurt you if you gave blood. So like you need to get stronger. So you're not actually, I'm fine. Dude, fucking toxic beauty standards in the modern era, bro. Skinny is fine. Skinny is bad. Oh, oh, when I get you. Oh, when I get you misinformation. Mm, I'm going to get that misinformation. You, I'm going to give him a punch, bro. I'm going to give him a big old meat wagon. When I catch that... Mm, when I catch that misinformation, bro. When I catch them. But you can blame the 90s and 2000s for that, honestly. I'm honestly well aware I'm underweight. Working on my eating disorder at the moment. But it's a journey. Dude, eating disorder. That's difficult. Oh, but here. Rev, this is for you. You have a smartphone, yeah? Rev, you see what this is, bro? This is a timer. You see that number, bro? When was the last time you ate, bro? Did you eat right now, 2 p.m. EST? Wait, no, um, West Coast, 11, 11 a.m.? You're eating right now? Okay, good. Good. When you finish eating, you simply, um, you simply restart the timer. And when the timer is done, you simply eat. See, neurodivergence, you see, neurodivergence, man, they lose track of time. They play DVD for seven hours. They don't eat. They don't drink water. They don't sleep. They have insomnia. So the timer is essential. You have, you have good brain. You're not stupid. You know when timer go off, you need to eat. So simply eat. I'm telling you, man. And you will be 120 to 150 in no time. And you will not have ab because skinny. You'll have ab because strong. And, you know, it is important to exercise regularly. You simply... What, what was your stream duration? Eight hours? Ten hours? Like, I see you pulling fucking huge stream durations. You probably need to walk. 
you need to get the blood flowing. You don't want blood clots in your legs. So maybe go on a 10 minute walk. Outside, inside, does it matter? Treadmill, does it matter? You know what I recommend? Slap on an episode of One Piece, 22 minutes. Walk for the whole episode. Skip the intro and outro if you want, but simply just watch an episode. Easy steps. And I can put you on peak for real. Six hours, but I usually have 12. Yeah, if you had more energy, you'd probably do 12 more consistently. But the reality is you do 12 because you can't sleep. Because you're addicted to the game. Fuck am I saying? Run in the world. Give me a month. I'm going to pre-drop this shack, I think. I don't know if I make it. It's close. Not bad. I uh, outlast now for sure. I'll follow this advice or at least get started. Yeah. It's one day at a time, bro. One day. So, like, my advice to Cole was to um, eat caloric deficit. Caloric deficit for a signed male at birth, adult, 18 plus, is 2,500 calories. That is your maintenance. So if you're below maintenance, you're in deficit. If you're above maintenance, you're in surplus. So you, you know, let's work on just eating. Don't eat whatever, dude. Eat fucking Pop-Tarts and Cheerios. You know what I'm saying? Like, just eat. Go on a walk and just eat. Like, it doesn't matter what you're eating. You can focus next week on what you're eating. But this week, simply eat every two hours. That'll be your goal this week. And every week you adjust your, like if you accomplished, I ate every two hours this week, that's when you start looking into, okay, I want to be stronger. I want more energy, you know, stuff like that. And I can absolutely help you with that. Yeah, you fucking stanky ass, stanky ass bitch. Sorry, I've had a bad day, Ghost. <laughs> Ghostface didn't deserve that. He was just playing. I've had a bad day, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs>